Mulligan and his steam shovel. Mike Mulligan had a beautiful spread steam shovel. Her name was Mary Ann. Mike was very proud of Mary Ann. He always said that she could dig as much in a day as a hundred men could dig in a week, but he had never been quite sure this was true. Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann had been digging together for ages. It was Mike Mulligan who took such good care of Mary Ann, she never grew old. It was Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann and some others who dug the great canals for the big boats to sail through. It was Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann and some others who cut through the high mountains so that the trains could go through. It was Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann and some others who lowered the hills and straightened the curves to make the long highways for the automobiles. Hey, Katie, what are you doing? This isn't your story. Hey, both of you, all of you three, come on, back to Geopolis, where you belong. And trucks. It was Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann and some others who smoothed out the ground and filled in the holes to make the landing fields for the airplanes. And it was Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann and some others who dug the deep holes for the cellars of the tall skyscrapers in the big city. When people used to stop and watch them, Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann used to dig a little faster and a little better. The more people stopped, the faster they dug. Sometimes they would keep as many as 37 trucks busy, busy taking away the dirt they had dug. But then, along came the new gasoline shovels, the new electric shovels, and the new diesel motor shovels, and took all the jobs away from the steam shovels. Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann were very, very sad. All the other steam shovels were being sold for junk or left out to rust. Mike loved Mary Ann. He couldn't do that to her. He, she could still dig as much in a day as a hundred day men could dig in a week. At least Mike Mulligan thought so. All the other jobs were being taken by the new electric and diesel motor shovels. Until one day, Mike read in the newspaper that the town of Popperville was going to dig a new town hall. We are going to dig the cellar for that town hall, said Mike to Marianne, and off they started. They left the cities where no one wanted them anymore and went out to the country. They crawled along slowly up the hills until they came to the little town. When they got there, they found the selectmen and Henry B. Swap um, deciding who should build the cellar. I heard that you were going to dig a cellar. Mike Marianne will dig that cellar in just one day. Dig a cellar in a day? said Henry B. Swap. Of course. Marianne can dig as much in a day as a hundred men can dig in a week. And if she doesn't do it, you won't have to pay. Henry B. Swap thought that that'd be a great way to not have to pay for the basement if they can't so dig So he it smiled in a, in a rather mean Brrr. way and gave the job. I'll give the job of digging the cellar to Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann. The next morning, Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann started out early. Only Mike Mulligan, can we come and watch, said the little boy. Of course, when people watch us, we always dig a little faster and a little better. Then the little boy had an idea. He ran off and gets, got some of his friends, and his friends told his other friends, and they told their parents. Soon, the whole, almost the whole town was watching. Never had Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann dug so fast. Oh, and a few pages later. Uh, never had Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann dug that fast and that well. Hurry, Mike Mulligan, hurry. There's not much time. The th smoke was too thick. People couldn't see. But listen. Bang, bang, crash, slam, louder and louder, faster and faster. And then, suddenly, the smoke cleared away and the dirt settled. And there was the cellar, all finished. All four corners, neat and square, just as the sun went down behind the hill. Hooray for Mike Mulligan, who dug the cellar in just one day. How are they going to get out, said the little boy. How are they going to get out? And Meredith said nothing, but smiled in a rather mean way. How are they going to get out, said the townspeople. Oi, Mike Mulligan, how are you going to get out? Mike looked at the four square wall and said, We've dug so fast and we've dug so well that we've forgotten to leave a way out. This has never happened in Popperville before. 
Everybody started talking at once, and everybody had a different thought, and everyone thought that his idea was the best. And they talked, and they talked, and they argued, and they fought till they were worn out. And then Henry B. Swap said, The job isn't finished because Marianne isn't out of the cellar, so we won't have to pay. And he smiled again in a rather Now, the little boy had been very quiet, had another idea. He said, Why couldn't we leave Marianne in the cellar? and build the new town hall above her. Let her be the furnace for the new town hall, and let Mike Mulligan be the janitor. Then you wouldn't have to buy a new furnace, and you could pay Mike Mulligan for digging the cellar in just one day. Why not? He swapped, and he smiled in a way that wasn't quite mean. Why not, said Mrs. McGillicuddy. Why not, said the town constable. Why not, said Grandpa. Wait, what? Why not, said the townspeople. So they went down and asked Mike Mulligan. Why not, said Mike Mulligan, and everyone was happy. They started to build the town hall right up over Mike Mulligan, and it was finished by winter. Every day the little boy goes over to see Mike Mulligan and Marianne. Mrs. McGillicutty bikes him some nice opera pies. As for Henry B. Swap, he sits, spends most of his time listening to stories, smiling in a way that isn't mean at all. The